I'm Landon Hoff from WFA's Digital Desk alongside the woman who needs no introduction, Rebecca Lopez. Uh, some big news here on Ezekiel Elliott just coming down in the, last, uh, in the last few minutes, huh? Big news. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals basically has ruled in the NFL's favor, which means that this is a big loss for Zeke Elliott yeah. and his attorneys in the NFL Players Association in court. It means that he is eligible to be suspended as of right now. So, so if you're like me, you've heard a lot of the term temporary restraining order, yes. preliminary injunction, all kinds of legalese. So we'll, we'll break it down as simple as possible. And you, if you can simplify this more than me, l let me know. So the reason that Zeke has been playing so far this year is because of the injunction that was granted in a Texas court. Correct. Um, so what was being heard in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans, earlier this month, I think they heard it on October 2nd, Yes. Um, was whether to dismiss the injunction. So there's, a, there's some words about a dismissal in this case. That's dismissing Elliot's case against the NFL, not dismissing Elliot's suspension. So the injunction has been vacated, which means that clears the way for Elliot to serve his six-game suspension. So while that's obviously not good news, um, the legal battle probably still continues, right? Right. So here's basically what they were arguing. The NFL said that Zeke's lawyers should never have filed for an injunction in Texas, that the proper court to file this injunction to keep him from being suspended would have been in New York, which is where the NFL is and the NFL right. players are sitting, where the, the, the case sits right mm -hmm. now. So, but they came to Sherman and they got a judge to grant the injunction and their argument was this judge had no jurisdiction in the first place and should never have heard this case. So that's basically what they, that they decided on. So the judges, and I could tell by the questions the judges were asking, I was at that hearing in New Orleans, that they were probably gonna rule in the NFL's favor because at the end of the day, the NFL's argument was, well, then any player that wants, doesn't want to serve his suspension can run to whichever court they want instead of in the, to the proper court and then basically, you know, delay their suspension. Right. And so you're setting a bad precedence if you do that. So the judges in this case said, no, you know what? This judge did not have jurisdiction, dismiss the case, go file it in the proper court. And that's going to be in the Southern District of New York, I believe. So is that, was that the primary reason? I haven't had read through the entire, yeah. I don't know if you've had time to read through it all, but I know it's mentioned in there that uh, Elliot and the NFL Players Association, which is kind of the same yeah, entity here mm -hmm. in this case, uh, did not exhaust all options at the time. So when they requested the preliminary injunction or temporary restraining order in the Eastern District Court of Texas, uh, ended up being in Sherman with Judge Amos Mazant, when they requested that, um, we were still waiting on a ruling from right. Harold Henderson, the NFL Correct. arbitrator. So what the appeals court is now saying is that the NFLPA had not exhausted all of its options. Basically, they prematurely filed for this injunction. That was the other argument right. in the court. They're like, well, look, we didn't even know what they, what the, uh, they were going to rule in this case. And so the fact that they jumped the gun, went and filed an injunction before they knew what the suspension was, was also in error according to the court. So yes, they're, they're like, okay, you filed it in the wrong court and you filed it too soon. Because really the Players Association is saying there's a flaw in the way that, um, that it's not fair. The process is unfair to the players in the way that they get to appeal these cases. Yeah. They're saying it's unfair. The court's saying, well, you guys agreed to this in collective bargaining and that's the process, so you're basically stuck with it.